Who wears the pants in the East Catholic basketball family? Everybody does. At least everybody who makes varsity. Work hard, play hard, know how to play. For us, it's great because I think it kind of links us to the past, which is nice. Luke Riley comes from a basketball family like few others in Connecticut. His brother, Joe Jr., is the head coach at Wesleyan. His late uncle, Gene, won 547 games coaching basketball at Portland High School. And his late father, Joe Sr., won 515 games coaching at Newington, Bloomfield, and South Catholic. Joe Sr. also won the fashion game at South. Following the lead of Bobby Knight's Indiana Hoosier teams, Joe Riley had his players warm up in candy cane pants. One of those players was his son, Luke. As a kid, I'd be riding the bus and hanging out, being the ball boy and all that. At that time, the candy canes were kind of popular, but it was always hand in hand with South Catholic and my father and his team. When Luke became the head coach at East Catholic in 2000, one thing would be certain, sartorial splendor in layup lines. When I got my own job, I said, if there's one thing that I want to do as a coach is I'm gonna, we're going to carry the candy canes along with us. Upon making the varsity roster, players at East get their big boy pants, having truly earned their stripes. When you get the candy canes, you've basically made it. I've been coming to the game since I was like five, six years old, and we, I've always seen them when they're warming up, just the bright stripes. I mean, they're hard to miss, as you see. When I first put them on, they were, they were crazy. Opposing student sections like to play the fashion police when it comes to the East Catholic trouser tradition. We've been laughed out of gyms as we take the court. Some people say they look like jail pants. You hear people snickering and laughing. They're like, oh, here come the inmates. We kind of look at each other and give the nod, like, hey, you know what? Like, you know, make sure we take care of business tonight. They probably think they're cool too. They're just trying to get in our heads somehow. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. I think they give us a little swagger. There's a 70s vibe to candy cane pants, which seems to fit nicely with East Catholic's throwback bus, Eagle One. We pull up and everybody knows who we are. And that's what we're about. We just want to stick out. We want to be different. We try to be very uncommon. We want our players to train in an uncommon way. We want them to act in an uncommon way and give uncommon effort. They've really bought into that the candy canes are one way that we're a little uncommon because you don't see them a lot. We gave a couple pairs to the, some people in our student section, and they were in front row. And they look, they look crazy to them, but it's what we're about, and it was awesome. There's an art to rocking the candy canes, and a skill to taking them off without looking silly. Usually, you gotta take a few of the buttons off first, and then you can give it a yank, or take the waist buttons off, then give it a yank. The newest versions, bought three years ago, are much lighter than their predecessors. These weigh about seven or eight pounds. This was the custom pair that we had. And, uh, the weight and feel of the pants has progressed since the 70s, but the meaning behind the warm-ups has stayed on point. Tradition matters, and while everybody puts their pants on one leg at a time, not everybody earns the privilege to put these pants on one leg at a time. If we win five, six straight, I don't care how dirty they are, how bad they smell, they're staying in my bag, I'm not touching them. If we lose a game, I'll throw them in the washer just so they don't stink up everything else. East Catholic has won nine in a row. So if what Mark Carbone is saying about not washing his pants is true, that is one ripe stripe.